Dear Hashed followers, in this video I will show you how to download and install the V18 and how you can convert a project from the V17 to the V18. So first we need the new V18 version. So I have linked the CEOs example in the video descriptions. And in the difference to the V17 you need to download two things. The first one is the DVD1 with the unified engineering and the unified PC runtime simulation. This is a separate entry in the CEOs and you need to download and install both of them. So let's start with the installation of the TIA portal. After the download we start the installation. The installation dialog looks the same as known from the V17. I will install German and Chinese. And now if we select the unified PC engineering, you see it's not possible to select the, the runtime for the simulation. So you need its separate DVD. We has downloaded this DVD before. In the next dialog you see, okay, you get separate hind if you overread it. We accept the license agreements and the changes in the registry and now the installation of the normal tier portal starts and is now finished. After this we install the unified simulation. I select as installation language English. The runtime is already selected, so now the configuration dialog opens. I use my existing certificate. If you run it on a new system or for the first time, you can create a new self-signet certificate. I want to use a local user management that my users will be downloaded from Tier Portal and are not central managed. That's okay for me. And the settings, I use the existing configuration from the V17 system before. And I disable the secure download. If you want to use it, you need to add here a password. So exact the license agreement and now the installation of the simulation starts. After the installation I need to restart my system and now we can open the tier V18 to convert our V17 project from the videos before. So I need to select my project. Okay, there is it. Now Tia asks me if I want to upgrade my V17 project to the V18. This is what we want to do. And now it start to upgrade the project. I speed it a little bit up. So and after the upgrade we open the project for the first time in the V18. And first we will take a look to the library, what happened to our faceplates. You see these are the faceplate types we have used in the projects before. And there is something new. You need to add a column and see lowest device version. And now you see the mixed devices. One is V16 and another one is V17 update one. Um, what does this mean? So in the V18 you choose the minimum target device version of your faceplate and depending on the functionality you get after the convert different versions. So you can use all of them in the V18 and if you check the help you will see an overview of which functionality of a faceplate is available in the version. The faceplate and you see okay for example with the update one there was this new authorization interface i used this that's the reason why i have here v17 update one and in this faceplate from the v16 i have only functionality from the v16 if you want to use the new functionality from the v18 in your existing faceplates you need to duplicate the faceplates and select the higher version. So I will explain this in a separate video. Um, if you create new faceplates and want to use the new functionality, select V18 and then you can use the new functionality. For a short test, I will create 
in V18 faceplate. And I will use a new functionality, like I want to use the trend control inside of the faceplate or the faceplate inside of the faceplate. And after release this type, you will see in the library the smallest device version, V18. If I now open my unified station, which I upgraded, and open the screen, and after this, I will try to place the V18 faceplate on the station. You see, it is not possible. So you can only place faceplates which are fit to the version of the device. To use the V18 faceplate, you need first upgrade the device to the V18. And after this, you can place the new created V18 faceplate in your device. Now we want to simulate our V18 station. So I press on the simulation button. The compile starts. And before I download, I override the existing user configuration because I don't know what is there from the V17. So I'm sure that my user will be there. And after the download, I start a browser. And if you run in this issue that your connection is not private, there's something with your certificate. So with your old certificate, if you cr has created a new one, this should not happen. So I will run the configuration again and create a new self-signet certificate. So I do not any other change. So I only change the certificate, click through the dialogues and so let's replace the certificate. After the dialogue is finished, you need to log off and log in again in your Windows system. And after this, I will start the runtime with the V18 project we have downloaded before and open the browser again. If this error appears, you have some parts from the V16 left on the system. To solve it, you need a small batch file. I have linked it in the video description. Add it to a text file, um, change the text file to a batch file and execute it as an administrator. This will remove the user management service layer. So I get this tip from the Siemens technical support to do this. And if after the execution of this, it's still not working, you can check in the internet information service in the application pool if all services are running. So we open the pool and you see this service stopped so i started it closed iis and refresh refresh the page we'll refresh it twice and now you see unified runtime is working again so you only need to do this one times and the error doesn't happen again and we see now this is the faceplate with the trend control we created before I hope you enjoyed the first video of TV18. See you!